Yo, it's a spirit. It's a snake spirit. Come on! Come on! Come on, you demon! Out! Goodness, lady. Huh? You're saying, huh? I was not praying for her. You don't want me to pray for her? Ah, you wait. I don't want to pray for her. I don't want to pray for her. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Take this, Mama. Bring him. Oh, this is a demon. So you, one man. One man is pushing all of you. One man. Look at that. Look at that. One man. Ah, ilan na liyip pa palin. Ah, one man. Ah, man, he had a dream about his father. He had a dream about his father that brought an attack. <laughs> oh, you ding! <laughs> Come on! Take him there for prayer. The car, the red car, is going away. Amen. You hear me? Amen. This car, when you see it, it doesn't go well with you. You hear me? Yes. Let's allow God to bless you. Amen. Because it's more like it's still connected with the spiritual things. The, the red car. Red, maroon, something like that. I don't know what is that. But whatever. Mm. It's still connected with the past life. In Jesus' name. So now we need to release it before problems. Ooh. Otherwise, there will be problems. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under uh, the leadership of Apostle JP and Prophetess T. Maganisa. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Chifiwa Marauzi. I'm coming from Springs. Prophet Andrew's located you and the minister upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he spoke about my car, that uh, we must let go, uh, God to let it go because it's still uh, connected with my past life. Yes, um, I don't love that car. It's not even my choice. It was um, my ex-choice. So yes, I don't love that car. Yeah, the prophecy is true. And how do you feel that today, Prophet just located you and ministered upon your life regarding this car? I feel so relieved because uh, I've been thinking about uh, changing that car for many years. Yes. I never loved that car. Holiday. A holiday. This pain here must leave you, sister. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You're experiencing a pain there. Huh? True. Yes. You're experiencing a serious pain. Bring it. And if this pain grow, grow, because it's exactly on your breast. You know, very soon they can say you have got cancer. Because you are worried also. 
Yes. No? Yes. You are worried that they might say you have got cancer, breast mm. cancer. Yes. Hmm? Yes. You, this breast cancer, God will heal you. Mm. Because it started very small. Yes. But now it's like the pain is increasing. Yes. So I believe Jesus for healing. Amen. They won't cut your breast. You are still, you are still young. It's a demon. Amen. Out, you demon! Out! You can't have breast cancer at your age. Come on! What are you doing here? Huh? No. You are saying what? No. You are saying no? Yeah. What are you doing? No. Huh? No. Why are you saying no? Huh? Please leave her. You are saying what? Please leave her. I must leave her? Yeah. Okay, I'm leaving her. I'm leaving her. They are coming. You can take her there. For I'm here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prefer Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Um, my name is Angel Ricardo. I'm from Limpopo. Prefer Andres today located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, I had uh, pain on my left breast. I've been having it for more than five years and I was starting to wonder what was it. And I, I was also suspecting that it can be breast cancer because when I tried to palpate, I felt the lump inside. And then uh, uh, Prophet Andres has also confirmed that um, I'm suspecting that it's breast cancer. Mm. Mm. And did you go to the doctor with a great diagnosis? Not yet. Oh, it's, just it's just that I was assuming mm -hmm. it's breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life regarding this issue that you've been experiencing for the past five years and even declared that God is healing you? I feel so relieved because even now mm. when I try to palpate and feel the pain is gone. Amen. Thank you. Lift him up. <laughs> She must be delivered, that lady. Uh, we don't want that cancer to grow. Eh? She must be delivered. Make sure she gets prayer. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, come here. Come here. Why are you are sitting and getting a smoke. Hmm? Sitting here, I'm seeing a smoke coming from behind me. You must not smoke, eh? Amen. You hear me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Can you forgive the people that have dismissed you? Yes. You are holding them in your heart. Yes. Forgive them. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Forgive them. Uh, it's a dismissal. You know, let's allow Jesus to bring something better. Forgive. Amen. You see, something great will shock you. It's coming. In Jesus' name. Receive it. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Jimmy. I'm coming from Limpopo. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and minister upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. So he said I should forgive the people who dismissed me and um, it is actually what happened. Um, I've been fired at my job. Yeah. So basically what happened was they created, well, they created a case that was non-existent. People falsely testified against, about me and um, until they built a case where they finally dismissed me. And how did that affect you? Um, at first, I understood why it went because I remember one day they were preaching and Daddy said um, when uh, people come against you and they attack you, all you need to do is tell them, I understand why you're doing this, it is for my promotion. So at the moment, I understood what was going on and I understood why it was happening. But um, as time was going, it was also draining me in my spirit also. It was affecting me in my um, prayer life as well 
So that is what was happening at the moment. Yeah. And how do you feel that today, Prefrant is located you and Minister upon your life regarding this issue? I feel so good. I feel uh, revived and I feel like I can conquer the world. Bring him. seeing a house. Amen. Hmm? I'm seeing a house that you people, you, you, it's like you want to build or you're already building. And the one you have is not your plan. Yes, it's true, man of God. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, the one you have is not your plan. I'm seeing a house that this man was telling you about. Amen. I believe. Brother, you hear me? Yes. yes. As I look at this one that you are living, it's not a good place. Amen. And you have been telling this woman, we need to build a, a better house. Amen. So I believe God will honor you with the land that you've been praying for. Amen. And believe, Amen. believe Jesus, everything will start to open up. Amen, prophet. In Jesus' name. dreams you have been heavy. You need to live right. You live some of these things that are surrounding you. Because yes. you are, you know, the addictions are taking you back. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Remember, you've always said, I also want a production company. So now, please, let's leave addictions. And you see, God will do it for you. Amen. The issue of music and acting. You know, those are one of the things that sometimes they are in your heart. So if you leave these other things, God will honor you. You hear me? Amen. God to locate him. I've been praying. So I've, we've been praying together for God to help him. Mm, he's a very, you know, he's a person who, who wants to be in this industry mm. of entertainment. Mm. But the addictions that he must stop. Yes. 
Yes. You are laughing again. Because I, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking God. about. Yes. Because sometimes, I don't know what I'm talking about. You just think, no, so gay. I don't so gay. We are telling you what we are saying. Because sometimes when you prophesy people, someone will just look at you like this. <laughs> I, I, I'm speaking what I'm seeing. Yeah. Because this man is a very good man. He is. But these addictions, if you can stop them, mm. this man will go far. Amen.